What if every planet was so close to the sun that they could just be burnt? No life, no nothing, not too cold, just very hot. What would happen? Today we are going to be checking that out. We are going to be planting all our planets that we can, even from not from our solar system, but we are going to be starting with our solar system. Um, so let's get started. So we definitely want to go to our suns, and of course our sun is first on the list, which is pretty small compared to other stars out there. And we want to add a orbit. And let's start with, of course, let's do the opposite. Let's do the furthest away. Let's do the planet that's the furthest away from the sun. So that would be Pluto. I don't know if you guys call, well, class Pluto as a planet. I do because it's a big area. But yet again, it's smaller than the moon, but it's grabbed orbit by the sun. So let's go ahead and we want to view our habitable zone as well zone and let's add it about here let's see so it seems like it's very hot we want to pause it have it all going at once next i believe if i'm wrong comment below uranus <laughs> i hope so was it neptune oh well doesn't really matter so we'll do those two no i don't want to view anything um where would they be guys maybe if i search nip Neptune, Neptune, it seems like Neptune and that's not actually on here, that, that bloody, oh, I'm not on planets, that's why, okay, so, do, 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 do. um, yeah, we'll go Neptune next, probably this far from the Pluto, maybe, and then Uranus, I think these are in order, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in order, which is good, Saturn, Jupiter, now Jupiter, since its mass is so large, it will probably drag some planets away, maybe into the habitable zone, hopefully. Mars. Sorry, Earth. Guys, I am afraid that Earth is about to die. Sorry. Had to be done. I might add some more. I might add the moons as well, but we'll do that later on. So let's slow down the time and see what it is like for this type of environment. So straight away we can see that Neptune is increasing in temperature, well nearly, basically instantly, just like that, and the heat is negative one at the moment, but look how fast it is, it's like, you're not even going to feel that heat man, oh wait, oh okay, I thought it wasn't changing, how's other, Venus, 14,000, Mercury, 320, not that bad, how's planet Earth doing? Earth? How is it only 41 degrees, guys? It's because it's got atmosphere, right? Shocking. It's actually quite... So oh, wait, nope. 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 How's Pluto going? How's our friend Pluto going? 526. Jupiter, 400. Saturn. I believe Uranus would... Maybe... Oh, Uranus is looking quite pretty. Blue and orange. It is quite pretty. How's Pluto? Pluto, I just checked Pluto. 526. Saturn, not boiling up. Oh, starting to boil up. Starting to gas out. Jupiter? Yeah, not just yet. I think it takes quite a few thousand degrees to heat up Jupiter to the fact that it burns. As for Earth, we've still got liquid water. After a few days, we've still got water, but you can see that it's drying out. So, maybe we would have enough time to go, hey, wait, we can't survive on this land anymore. I mean, okay, if humans were there, and we somehow just traveled this far towards the sun, we would be able to get away. However, you know, very unlikely. Very unlikely that would have happened in real life. Just like, hey, guys, let's move towards the sun. Yeah, good idea, Cody. Yeah. Um... Neptune, still pretty. I uh, really want to check out Jupiter again. See how that's going. It's not gaining temperature very well. I'm quite surprised by the fact that Mars has gained quite a bit of temperature faster. I thought Earth would with its at having a stronger atmosphere. 
Okay, so this is getting pretty boring. So let's add some more planets. So just some random planets and let's see how that goes. In fact, let's add some closer to the sun. Oh, wow. So this one here is 2000 degrees. Just imagine having that amount of light shining on your back. Holy God, I'd be burning. I think anybody would be burning. And this one, 1900. I can't really up. C-O-R-O-2, 7B. Maybe 7B for 7 billion. Or maybe it's just the name, like 7B, like, hey, look, there's another sun now. Oh, I added two of the same, did I? That's my bad. So let's speed up in time and see what happens. Oh, wow. So tidal forces have taken fragments off this planet here. And it's barely nothing anymore. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for a minute, guys. I think... I thought that was a black hole then, but it's just a bunch of gases. Probs evaporate into the sun. Um, how's Earth going? 170. This is what I expected. Um, over a few weeks, maybe, that will change. Well, not change for the better. So Earth is really only getting to 500 degrees. So that's less than I expected. I was expecting a few thousand. Jupiter... Jupiter's averaging around 470, which is not habitable for us, but, you know, it's decent for a gas giant. Pluto, 500. So, it's not what I expected. I was expecting, like, thousands of degrees and burning cores, you know. So, I want to see something. What? How, how far can we go towards the sun without burning up? Actually, how far can we get to the sun for the longest period of time? Okay, that's what I was expecting, but I was a bit too close, I think. A few thousand degrees. Um, interesting. The textures have bugged out and we've still got water. Definitely not the situation, guys. Definitely not the situation. Definitely not. Okay. What else can I add here? Let's see what happens if we add enough sun, obviously. Obviously, we're going to see a huge effect. And it's not as quite as big as the sun. But it's giving off a bit more temperature towards Jupiter. So maybe Jupiter will sort of... Oh, wow. That's quite cool, guys. So this sun here is orbiting the sun. And blue Pluto has definitely ignited a flame, doubled in temperature. As for the Earth... Earth has actually been, well, kicked out, type of. It's still very warm, but... Oh, it's gaining in temperature. That is my bad. That is my bad. So it has increased the temperature if we added another sun. Now, let's explode the sun, just for a good end to the video. So in conclusion, guys, if all the planets were in within a probably 1 million to 10 million, quite a rough estimate there, Within that radius of the sun, we would burn up very hot. Very, very hot. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this little explosion that I got prepared for you. Into a supernova. How fun. Look at this. Billions of degrees, guys. Billions. Enough energy just to burn the Earth alive. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.